fear. I want to talk about fear and its relationship to healing and cancer. Um, with the Bankston method, the idea is that you want to um, uh, cycle, spin your, your rapid image cycling list um, when, you, um, when you have strong emotion. And it's a wonderful way of clearing fear if, it's, if you're conscious of it. And there's a way that some people know how to connect with their emotional body that others don't. And so um, let me just give you a couple stories of how I felt like fear was able to help people with cancer and how the fear seemed to actually stop the Bankston method from working. Um, and maybe you have some ideas of how to, to work with this too. So for example, I, I had a man um, quite a few years ago who he was a Reiki master and he had fourth stage cancer. And he came to me and he, he says, yeah, I'm doing it, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. And if you don't know the Bankston method, you're still in an okay place. We're just talking shop. A lot of people in this site do know it. You don't need it to get distance healed in a few minutes. We're going to be doing the distance healing, but a lot of people that um, follow me know that I do the Bankston method and um, like to talk a lot about it. <laughs> so fear. Um, so this man, um, he said he was cycling and I felt like, are you sure you're cycling? You know, how are you doing with your list? How this, this, that? And he says, no, I can feel the energy. It's fine. You know, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it all day long. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. You know, I'm grooving on the, the cycling energy. Um, and then, but nothing was working and he ended up getting chemo and as soon as the tumor shrunk, his fear lessened and he realized that, oh, he actually wasn't cycling. It's almost like he went into the fear that he did have was so vast that he couldn't really be present with his self. Um, maybe, I mean, I don't know what the problem was or even if it was a problem, but, um, but he, he clearly felt that when the terror of, of imminent death was um, lifted, he could think about living in a much more real way and that the fear actually prevented him from doing the, the Bankston Methods um, exercise. And I don't think that, so as a therapist, you know, people come to me and I do individual coaching. My challenge is to help people who have somaticized their fear so deeply, they don't even know how terrified they are. You could say that cancer is often a somatization of fear, that it actually holds strong emotions and fears of strong emotion. You could say that, um, that that's what's happening. Um, so I like to just, like give a ton of support with fear um, if I sense that the fear is keeping them from doing it. So I wanted to tell you a couple ways that that um, that I do that. One is I I work with um, often people are getting psychotherapy. They they have some sort of support with that. So there's tons of trauma techniques of when people have somaticized their fear. And so if you know any of those like EMDR, there's tapping, there's all sorts of somatic therapies to, to um, help release fear. Rapid image cycling sometimes works, but sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes you need something else with it. Um, the other thing that I do with fear is I, um, I pretend like the fear is a shadow that I can see in the body and I use my imagination as a perceptive device and I cycle in the presence of the fear that they might not feel that I can see and that seems to help a lot too. Um, then the fear lightens a little bit and suddenly people, my patients are able to um, care about their list. It's really hard to care about your future free self if you're terrified because you're in that fight flight thing. You're really not able to really get into your list is the way that um, people can. And I must say that the people I've cured were able to get into their future free self, the images of them enjoying their future activities 
you know, healthy, wealthy wives and free and all that good stuff. Um, and that the fear seems to block others. And now the that other thing that I do is I notice that Bankston, um, when he did his mice research, and he injected mice with cancer, and normally there was a 100% fatality rate when he did this procedure to mice. They all died within like 25 days. I can't remember the exact number of days, um, but it's days, not months. Um, and he would just put his hands on the cage. And I'm wondering if at some level the mice knew that they were diseased. And um, they just didn't attach to it because mice don't know. They don't attach to the future the way people do. And so even though the mice at some level were probably feeling that something was amiss as they got these tumors that were one third the size of their body before they were healed, um, my sense is that they didn't attach to the fear. And so one suggestion that's sort of counterintuitive but it's a way I've been working recently, is that if somebody's really, really afraid, I ask them to pretend like they are a mouse or a dog or an animal and to not cycle and to just be taken care of and really try to imitate their, try to just let go of their very human part of themselves, which usually I think of as the healing part. But if it's so contaminated with fear, it's like you need to break it. You need to break from it and just be your animal self without your mind in that way. Like animals have minds, but they, they are not attached to their awareness that they have this lethal condition the way humans often are. And so anyway, so there's those, those are three little tips of what to do with fear. Maybe that, does, does that help anybody? Um, okay, so Riza says what his fear stopped the cycling from working. I think he didn't go deeply into his cycling practice. And he cross, um, since he was so familiar with feeling energies, he thought that that light, spacious feeling that he felt, you know, in meditation or with Reiki or with other things meant that he was doing it. And what I've discovered is that the path you get to that spacious place actually matters. It's not that, um, it's not that one form is better than the other overall, but different forms work differently. Um, and I guess a, a real energetic healer virtuoso knows when a form is working and when to switch forms. So like in my practice, if somebody knows Reiki, I can see if the Reiki is helping or we do Bankson or we do something else. Um, and so I'm able to see if, if that's that particular form is helping the cancer right now. Um, but back then I couldn't do that or I didn't do that. Yeah, so EFT is a wonderful thing to, yeah, I agree. And um, uh, can you recommend a resource? I've tried it, but not sure if I'm doing it correctly. Recommend a resource for what, Risa, for, for EFT? Okay, so Angela, give him a resource for EFT, okay? It's all over YouTube, seriously. It's like you just find your person. Um, it's and it's like there's millions of people doing this technique and it's it's um you can try it yourself you can try it with a coach um you know things that so okay i'm just scrolling through there hi babs hi dorothy hi diana melinda i already said hi to lisa angela greg bobby okay good and joseph yay all right Bab says fear is very intense. Trying to find my way to change my monkey mind. Fear's cancer. So Babs, I would say maybe one of these three things works. I don't think that being like an animal and just receiving healing is a long-term strategy, but it gets rid of the white knuckle grip just to say, okay, I'm just gonna receive the healing. So Babs, right now, um, I'd invite you not to valiantly heal yourself as we are doing this distance healing, I'd invite you to just receive. And um, you can experiment with that. And if you don't like how it works, you can rewatch the video where you're actually participating with the visualization that, that we're going to do together. Dick Ortner's good. Um, Insight Timer has some things, yeah. Yeah, I've had, you know, to me, EFT either works really well or it doesn't. And um, 
and you know pretty quickly if, it, if that's your thing. There's EMDR, eye, eye movement, eye movement, sensitivity, reflex, or something like that. You know, there's all sorts of body mind things that that uh, that click you out of that. Um, for my own fear, I walked in nature for a year, and I'm going to start doing that again. Um, I just felt like I needed to get out of my mind and let the trees and the sky and the ground um, help me heal. That I felt very guided to do that, and it seemed to really help. Um, it wasn't as quick as EFT, but you know, 63 years of of living in fear, you kind of, you know, it might take a year to to, to gently let go of, of that. Um, you know, all sorts of therapies. Um, yeah. And then the other thing is that there's nothing really wrong with having fear if you have a lethal condition. There's a, a you know, it's a danger signal that is is important to not suppress because if you suppress the fear, it causes cancer. And if you express this terror, it's so vast that it rips your life apart. Um, if you're actually letting yourself feel the terror that you have, you're just shaking and trembling and you can't take care of yourself. And that's why you cycle when you're in, if, if you, some of my, like I think I know how to do this. I, um, not that it solves all my fear things, but, but whenever I do get afraid, my cycle just goes on and it seems to finish quickly. I don't suppress it, but it seems to, like in a minute or two or or you know a little while like it, things that would take a week take an hour or two things that take an hour or two take a minute or two depending on what you're afraid of um but yeah the fear is intense and um yeah but if you somaticize it and try to put positive thinking on say oh no i, I can't be afraid that's gonna hurt me i think Often, as I heal people, the fear comes up, and they actually get a whiff of what they might have buried inside them, and then I cycle in the presence of it. So I know that it's a healing fear rather than a debilitating fear. If we start a session and suddenly we both get afraid, that means that something's being released. Um, and um, yeah, anyway, it's complicated. You know, I, I feel like I try to, you know, just use my 40 years experience to help people maneuver through that intricate dance. Your heart knows a lot. Talking about maneuvering, that's kind of like an ego thing, but your heart often knows. It draws you to exactly what you need. And the heart is sort of the opposite of fear. If you can be in your heart, you'll know. If EFT is good, you need to spend an hour researching videos. Um, the free app is good, says Angela. Great, thank you. Breast Cancer Conqueror on Facebook did a 10-day tapping event not long ago that was really good and seemed a little more cancer-specific. Oh, thank you, Diana. Okay, good. All right, great. All right, let's do the healing. So if you're watching this later on YouTube, if you want to join us for these um, free distance healing sessions, you're very welcome to join the Spirit Gate Cancer Support Facebook group. You can join us live or you can watch the videos there in that Facebook group later. And we have an amazing group of healers and patients. And um, you get, you know, you can ask your questions. I started the group to, um, as a way for people to ask me questions about my book, uh, which is There is Another Way, Energy Medicine for Pets with Cancer, which by the way is good for people too, because we all have this animal part of ourselves. Um, so, you know, ask questions about that book and I'm, I'm really happy to field them. Um, and then the other reason is that I just really love my work and I wanted a place where I could just pour all my love and all my experience in a container that's free that I can offer so that I contain my impulse to, um, anyway, so I'm able to take care of myself. I'm able to have a place where I can give freely and not have it hurt me. Okay, good. Have a little boundary. Okay, good. Let's start it. and. Um, Let's begin.